Turn that on. Hey everybody, welcome, 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 welcome to Formlessness Podcast. Um, how's it going? Welcome back. It's been a little bit of a while since uh, the last episode, and a lot of the last episodes were just a very interesting form of um, what I would consider energetic um, release in the form of uh, venting trash energy. So those podcasts, these podcasts have been removed because those were for my own uh, needs and uh, healing and not necessarily good content for you, my dear, my dear sweet listeners. Thank you, and thank you for listening, and thank you for watching. And um, yeah, so before we get into the episode, I just wanted to share what the kind of setup is going to be uh, for the next phase of this show. And what it is going to be is that the show is going to come out um, uh, as a fully produced and edited video broadcast that will be available for a week. Um, And then it will get taken down and unlisted, and you'll have to be uh, be a patron to have access to that um, after the, the initial week. Um, yeah, the, the audio version will be available to everyone forever. Um, yes, and then as well, there's going to be, I, there's, there's a lot of things that are bleeped out in this, in this, uh, upcoming episode, and, um, you can find the uncensored, unbleeped version with all of the specific information about where I live and how much money I make. <laughs> you can, you can know all those details, uh, if you become a member of the Patreon, and you become a nice Patreon, patron, patron, a patron of the Patreon, and yeah, I, I love being transparent, and I believe in that wholeheartedly as mm, one of the roots of the philosophy by which I like to live. However, I have become hurt and jaded by people using the information they have about me to make my life harder and to hurt me. So I don't feel comfortable fully releasing that information to everyone. So if you want to show a little bit of goodwill towards me by becoming a patron of the Patreon, then you can propose into your own powerless mind the particulars of my pay grade. Yeah, yikes. Yowza. All right. Well, I love you so much. I really hope you enjoy this episode. It's really nice. It's really fun. It's really cool. And it's really good to be getting back into it and back onto the mic and being, wow, look at this. My, my broadcast voice is, um, it's, it's back. Uh, yeah. So again, I love you. Please go to the Patreon. Please freaking love yourself. And, uh, we're all going to make it. We're all going to make it into, uh, infinite life before we die. All right. There's headphones there if you want. Okay. You got a volume knob there. The one that's Which closest. One? The one that's closest to you is yours. This? Yeah, and the other one's mine. Please don't f- with my volume. <laughs> okay. Hello. I already said Whoa. it. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Hello. 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 Oh. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 Okay. 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 Did you did you put the echo on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> oh wow. Hey, well, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Why? Thank you. I haven't done this in a little while, and I'm feeling okay. Not confident. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not feeling like doing a podcast. Okay. But, Why? You don't. Uh, you know, I've been here for like two weeks, 
and I today in in or LA. Okay. In okay. How did you get here? I drove here. <laughs> from. Yeah. Okay. But how did you get here from downtown LA? I got the, a PPP loan, which I don't oh, think okay. I had had when we did our podcast. I w- I was on Alexander's. Alexander, should I call you by your full yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Alexander is perfect. Okay. I was on his show a while ago, like three weeks ago or something. Go check that out if you want it's to. It's actually not up yet, but I'll put it up. Wait, no, it is, it up. is up. I did put it up. Yeah, it is up. It is but up. this comes out in the past, so you're correct. Yeah, yeah. This is coming, yeah, this is coming yeah. out last year, this episode. Um, so, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Um, it's just a little, uh, <laughs> I, I know how to do that. You know how to do what? Put podcasts out in the past. You know how you, if you are on a record label, you can get them to change your artist name on Spotify after you've already released stuff, but you can't do that if you put your own stuff on spotify well i know how to freaking put out podcast episodes in the past all right why are you gonna put it out in the past to make you look good because you made a mistake and said that uh the episode wasn't out of your show yeah no one cares (laughs) (laughs) watch someone complain i care yeah I hope you care. Please, if you're listening, <laughs> tell me tell me that you care. I really, really Wait, need so it. Wait, so how many interviews have you done? Or have you done interviews? Uh, probably, I have done interviews. I've probably done like nine. Hell yeah. Although, I've done more than you. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, I'm more of a professional. <laughs> yeah, I concede to that completely. <laughs> <laughs> they've Wait, all been taken down. I, Wait, they've all been taken anymore. down? Mm-hmm. Why have they been taken down? Because no one told me that they cared about them. And I so? got self-conscious and didn't understand how to, you know... But you, you have to leave me. it up there. And then 20 years into the future, some little kid will find it and be like, oh, I love this. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> right. And that's why I've learned how to make podcast episodes be released in the past. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know, I got from this loan thousand dollars yeah what yeah thousand dollars yeah not three hundred dollars not (laughs) wait how did you how the fuck did you get thousand dollars um by well do you want the short answer or the long no, answer i want the long answer all right well i'm going to give you the short answer the audience <laughs> first i did it by believing in myself and the long answer is i applied for this ppp loan which you can apply for if you create something called a dba which is a doing business as oh, okay. which means that you can be a, just a normal person you can file for this dba which is like 20 bucks yeah. Which means, like, I'm an individual, but I'm going to be doing business as a different name. So, like, you can have... It's a way of having a company name without okay. creating a company or doing anything like that. Um, and you are more professional than me at podcasting. Um, <laughs> that was the joke. I hope everyone realizes that. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I think it's a very... I, I mean, honestly, technically, I don't make money from it, so I'm not a professional. I right. lied. Well, uh, you have to make money. To be a professional, you have to make money. Yeah. All right. Do you have to make if, money or do you have to have money or can you get money given to you? Does that count by the government or by other people? Okay. Fair. What do you think? I don't know. Okay. Fine. Fine. <laughs> you win. Hey, I'm not. You I'm win. Not, I'm just. You win. Okay. There's I'm loopholes. There's loopholes. Yes. Um. Oh yeah, technically you're more of a professional because you've got oh money. God, thank you so much from it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, okay, wait. So do you have a company? Or? Yeah. So I made this company. What's the company called? It's called Fleur Sans Cease. Did you register it with yes. anyone? I registered it in Colorado, not as a company, but just as a DBA, which is just like this thing, which is like, um, it. What it's is it literally called? Literally 
What's your DBA called? What the fuck? So you didn't do like a, the papers of incorporation? No, no. Okay. That's too much work. And I gave it's up on that doing that. much work. Well, that's great for you if you feel that way. I mean, you're probably well, gonna be able it's to. just bullshit. You just like it's just a piece of paper, and it's like, yeah, you know, it is. I think at the time I was looking into that, I didn't have any money, and it uh, probably cost like a hundred bucks or something. Oh yeah, getting, it, it does cost a hundred. Will you take your phone off the table? Yeah, because it's getting some, uh, it's creating some uh, vibration. Yeah, some RF hits. Uh, Do you hear that? Did you break your phone? Yeah. Your phone is like indestructible. I've, I've dropped it so many times and it yeah. hasn't broken. What is it, an uh, iPhone 11? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it nice. is. Good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I got on this new iPhone 12 that's recording this. I love oh. it. I'm nice. happy to be back with mini. the mini style. I wanted the mini, but I couldn't get it. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Can yeah. fit my whole finger across the screen. Yeah, right. I can't do that with the normal size one. Yeah, it's, it's a real big. travesty. Honestly, it is. It is. It yeah. really is. Um, Thank okay, you, so, Apple. So that's how you got here from the PPP. I got line. this money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which has been, it's again leading into my state of mind today of just being here for two weeks, having money for the first time. We talked on your podcast about how... But you still get... And... No? I mean... You know... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I yeah. not supposed... Is this like not allowed? You br- I no, only I mentioned know. that because you mentioned it on my podcast. And so yeah, yeah. Well, now I'm like going through unknown? this thing. This is what I'm trying to say. It's like I'm going through this thing of like I have money for the first time and it's making me more anxious than when I didn't have money because now I feel like I have to be responsible about It'll it. It'll do that. It'll yeah. do that. Money is... I mean, I don't think money is an evil, but it's, it's some... It's The more money you have, the more it's like, what do I do with it? Yeah. You know? And then yeah. that takes up time. It does. And energy... I've actually thought of being a person you pay to figure out what to do with your money, but I don't think anyone would do it. Really? I mean, maybe a billionaire, but you got to have access to the billionaires. Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah. You'd be good at that. I feel right? very uh, safe in your <laughs> hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Wait, why do you feel anxious, though? Like, what? you don't know what to spend the money on? Uh, no, I feel anxious about my lifelong problem of, uh, being afraid to express myself and feeling like I got this apartment That's true. and they were like, you can't get a noise complaint. And I had, you know, it's like this thing where like, I, I want to be transparent. I feel like the key to function is being transparent or at least my own mental health. I want to be like the same person to everyone. I don't want to be manipulating things but then i keep saying who i am and then people reject me or don't let me rent anywhere because i say i'm a musician and they assume that i'm going to be super loud and yeah yeah you feel that yeah i mean i I think transparency is noble but i also think it's like a lot of people don't care yeah it rehearses my feelings i mean it's like i don't know I think from a personal standpoint, like on some level, I think you have to be different with different people yeah. because I don't think, I don't know, but yeah. I've noticed that a lot of people perceive the world in a completely different way and you can say one thing to one person and that means that and say it to another person and it means something completely different. And so if you're not getting into a place where you're acknowledging, oh, this could mean something different, then it can be dangerous because you think you're saying the same thing to different people, which technically, like, outwardly you are, but they're taking in something different. Yeah. Which, you know, yeah, I think in America can be problematic because you have so many different cultures and so many different people that Mm -hmm. if you don't have some kind of bridge 
for those differences, it can get pretty crazy. Yeah, absolutely. I mm-hmm. definitely have gone through multiple periods of realizing that, just like this code switching that happens. Right. And it's like, like I, like I don't think, you know, being a little devil and like manipulating people consciously, like, yeah, I think that's bad. But then, you know, if you're acting differently to communicate the thing that you want to communicate, I think, you know, I don't think that's bad. And I think yeah. that's really what counts as having the intention, you know, the yeah. intention behind it. Yeah, I agree. Right. I'm not good at that, though. I need. To, I don't think. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. But, I mean, you just got to make fucking mistakes again and again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> over and over, oh, I yeah. guess. Oh, yeah. I mean, Beckett said, fail, fail again, fail better. So, uh, what is your most recent failure? Uh, my most recent failure? I mean, like, what level are we talking about? Is there anything going on in your life? Like, oh, big, like, life-wise? Yeah, just currently. Are you, do you feel like you're um, I mean, you are you regrets? Regrets? I mean, there's, like... There's, like, regrets, like, every second, you know? Yeah. Like. Yeah, and then can you process them and let them go? Or do they come back and haunt you? Like they have done for me today. Ooh, really? What regrets are haunting you? I don't know, I just feel, like, so um, depressed, I guess. Like... (laughs) I got these new instruments, and I'm just like, what the fuck? What am I doing? Well, I have everything I want, but I just, nothing makes any sense. Yeah, I mean, it. yeah. I don't know. Having everything that you want can be dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, because I think I thought, like, uh, I am so, I felt so, like, constricted by lack of resources but and this has happened so many times too but i mean the the thing that you can't forget is like lack of resources is like if you can have the right perspective can be the instigator of creativity yes and oftentimes is because it's like oh i can't do things this way let me figure out a way to do it yeah you know yeah and that, that's like what I hate about a large part of the art scene is it feels like there's so much of a like, how do we get all this stuff that we need as opposed to creating a new way, you know? And it, yeah. it feels like it's so much of art is creating something different, but then a lot of the times the method or the way is just ignored and it's just like let's just do the same method or whatever to create something different rather than paying attention to actual the process of creating yeah yes Um, that's very much you know what it is yeah i feel like i haven't i've spent the last two weeks like buying some stuff figuring out how to build a soundproof room focus so much have you built one no but i have the stuff here that's what's in these boxes Audience, okay. if you want to see what's in these boxes, subscribe to the Patreon. All right? I'll put a pick up there. <laughs> Wait, how's the Patreon? Uh, what do you mean? Do you make tons of money from it? Yeah. In the future. <laughs> right on. Right now, right on. My, the only Patreon is my mom. Thanks, Hell mom. Yeah. yeah. I also, um, yeah. Um, amazing. Yeah, although I... I I am legit and I am real and I am um, going to be doing this podcast regularly. And why I feel like why gonna... is the podcast to express yourself? E- well, hmm, I think it has been at times, but now that I have more of my personal needs met, it is more about um, creating a show that I would want to listen to as a listener and sharing things that 
don't normally get shared on this medium. I, I like the idea of, I mean, the show's called Formlessness, and the idea behind that is that it's just like, there's not really, there's just a lot of open space, and there's not, I don't want to create like a need for, um, you know, like a performative aspect, um, and I want, yeah, I want it to be a place where things naturally can be just like communicated and shared and then recorded so other people can uh, hear what people talk about when they're not being recorded. <laughs> Normally, if that makes sense. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, also it's just about laughs. <laughs> and, uh, you know, bad shit. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, wait, can I? Yeah. I can play music. It's also about making music, yeah. Wait, so how much of the money have you spent? Have you spent it all? <laughs> yep, I spent all of it. I spent all t- <laughs> dollars. Yeah. Um, Wait, no, so, just kidding. so I feel like everyone should just go and do this. Yes, everybody should do this. And bankrupt the government? Yes, although the Fuck government... Yeah can't be bankrupted because they literally just they print are, money. Well, and they're bankrupt already. Tech, I mean, right? I mean, yeah. trillions of debt. Yeah. Dollars. Yeah, it's all just like a <laughs> What do you think about meaning. cryptocurrency? Well, that's a great question because... That bullshit. It's like bullshit, but not bullshit. Yeah. And it's like weird. It's, yeah. Everyone's talking about it nowadays. They are. I... Right, that was the first thing I did is invested uh, probably 60% of that money into crypto. Oh, really? Which ones? Um, Doge? <sighs> not, <laughs> not, not three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, you would have made, you would be set. I would be set. You, if you had done that. Yeah, I invested a lot in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I also oh, invested okay. in this tiny coin. That's another dog-themed coin oh. called Ass Coin, oh. and I made twelve thousand dollars from two thousand dollars with that. Damn! Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, right there. Pretty good, right? And pretty then good. last week, you know, so lost. are you? Are you? In, here's my question: Are you investing in them to make money, or because you believe in them? Oh, that's a really good question. Because right. in many ways, those two things are tied together. Although I feel like well. I mean, yes yeah. and no. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah, yes and no. I feel like um, I am investing in them because I believe in them, and mm-hmm. then I make money sometimes. But when if I invest because I am trying to make money, then I always lose money. Right. Well, like, like for like I I invested in Bitcoin. A while back, and I didn't. I only made four grand from it. Nice, but well, how much did you invest? I think two grand. So I only did double. That's, I should have. I should have waited for longer, and then I would have made more. But right. But like, I was just thinking, you know, about creating savings, right? But then the dollar is constantly losing its value, mm-hmm. and so I was like, well, if I just put my money in a savings account. And over time, you know, I'm growing old and getting whatever, and I'm creating this savings account for when I retire, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then I have the savings, but then it's like it's depreciating in value all the time. And Mm -hmm. so I was like, is there something that I can do that doesn't? And I was like, oh, Bitcoin, you know, has a finite amount. They can't just make more and have the value drop. Right. But... Right, right, right. Bitcoin is also, like, it's not a currency, really. Or, I mean, like, at least the way I see it is, like, it's sort of impossible for it to be a currency right now, unless I'm wrong, just because its value fluctuates so much. Right. And so it's like, how how can I, you know, be like, it's like one day your one Bitcoin is like a million dollars and then the next day is like $500,000. Like, how does that help me buy a chocolate bar? You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, well, if you're trying to buy a chocolate bar, I would recommend going down to the bodega 
I mean, you can't. I don't even think you can, right? Buy a chocolate bar. I mean, you got, it would just be like illegal drugs. Yeah, you have to right? buy like a weed infused chocolate bar from the dark web. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, the thing is that that is true, but it is changing because the have, have you ever bought anything with cryptocurrency? Uh, I'm trying to buy drugs, but I haven't had enough energy because I've been feeling depressed. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Um, that's all I need right there. Uh, Don't need drugs, kid. All you need is music. Yes. They're basically the same thing. Um, I mean, they are, really. Yeah. Although one's not illegal. Yeah. Unless you're trying to do it in a freaking apartment complex. Yeah. Yeah, if you make too much music at a loud noise, sometimes they'll call the cops. Mm -hmm. Music is drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't bought anything. Although, I think it's becoming more of a... What happened? Oh, I don't know. What was I going to say? Um, I think these things are becoming, and I think they're going to transition into being the new actual currency because they're going to become less volatile than the, the dollar and yeah. have actually a more stable value. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. But it's, yeah, that, yeah. It's weird because it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, hmm. I I don't know what it's gonna look like. Yeah, I feel like um, the thing with it is just like my feelings about crypto and money itself is just I think it's just a representation of your own self-esteem because I've noticed the direct correlation between times where I feel bad about myself, feel undeserving of money or spending money or buying good things, good food or whatever for myself. And I don't have any money. But as soon as I like feel like I genuinely need to have more money for in a real way, then I will do something to create yeah. that money. I mean, yeah. It's like if you want to make money, and that's really your goal, and you're just like, that's what I'm going to do, and you're okay with being like, F the people around me, it's not oh, really that hard to make God. money. God, yeah, but that's, f that's f awful. F you, if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, I mean, like, that's the thing, it's like, if you're willing to put your head down and focus on it, it's like, but the thing is, like, people, you know, they want to go out and party. They want the life, you know, and all of that. Yeah. Which, like, I get that, but it's like, you know, right. that's not making, that's spending money, you know? Yeah, yeah, which I think is valid. Like, if you just, if yeah. you want to be someone who spends money as opposed to making 100%. money, you can also do that. 100%. Yeah. The What I will say about cryptocurrency is... The way it approach the the like almost paradigm that it has of money definitely shifted my perspective of money just in the sense of like yeah. it being a ledger and money being a ledger yeah. of and I still don't completely understand it, but I think it's illuminating, yes, and enlightening, yes, I agree um, I don't know. That's the thing, like the market took a big dip, right. um, which is just a representation of everyone's feelings, I think. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like if you maintain a level of uh, non-attachment enough to not panic sell when things crash, yeah. then you just can't lose. Yeah, You might not be able to access your money for a while but that's right. totally fine well i mean the fucked up thing about making money is it's like 
always easier to make money when you have money. Yes, because there's not as much like. Well, and it's also like it's like pressure. the best time to buy is when there's blood on the streets. You yeah, know? Mm-hmm. the be- and but it's like if you don't have money, you're probably one of the people whose blood is on the streets. You know, because you don't have, you're not like you know living in that fancy place and <laughs> making music. Oh shit. <sighs> <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Yeah, that's not where I live. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Next thing you know, Wall occupy Wall Street, left side of your window. Yeah, you're too powerful. <laughs> your podcast is too famous. That'll be the thing. <laughs> when Wall Street says that. To me. Oh my. I hope so. Listen, I'm trying to spread the word. We can all be rich for real. Well. I mean, the thing that's so weird is, and I don't know how accurate this is, but it feels like the dynamic of rich and poor, like, doesn't always leave people when they become rich. Like, you can have, like, like, there's there's so many rich people who are like, oh, I'm not that rich, and, like, I'm poor, and it's Mm -hmm. like... Okay, and that it's like, and you can have like millionaires who compare themselves to billionaires, and they're like, oh, like I'm barely making any money. Yeah, and it's just like, yes, yep, you're not making any money. Yeah, that goes back to what I was saying, where it's like, there's been times where I've had relatively way less money than I have now. I mean, this is, I mean, I've had no money ever till now, so it's all very different. But like. It doesn't change the way I feel. Right. Sometimes I feel very well, free and rich. And it's like a it's very much a status thing, which sucks. It's yeah. It's it's just like weird. Because it's like I like on some levels it's like that's completely fine. But then on other levels it's like Yeah. Not, yeah. You know? Yeah. Because it's like it shouldn't be based off your status. Whether, you know, you can live a healthy life. Yes, exactly. And live comfortable, you know. Yeah, or just have your needs, your basic needs met. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. But I agree. I feel like being in (laughs) where I don't live is um, (laughs) an interesting place to watch all those status symbols get projected by people. And... I think it, you know, I think it's cool if it's like a meme. If people realize that it's a meme, you can go all, you can have the you can dress in the nicest outfit, have the coolest car, whatever. Yeah. That's totally cool. Yeah. But it's not cool if you take it seriously and you're a freaking yeah. jerk and your aura's all closed <laughs> off cuz you're really insecure. <laughs> Yeah. Peace, love, respect. Yes. Yeah. That sounds like a per- public service announcement. This is a public service announcement. Um, I did just meant to hit a different sound effect, but in fact I hit the public service announcement, which also functions as my bleep for when I say, you. Oh, damn. Yeah. You're going to create enemies. Only, well... Although that's... Arguably good for... Wait, hold on. You're telling me enemies are good? Well, I'm just saying, like, more. having an enemy, it's, like, traumatic. Yeah. You know? It validates you in a lot of fucked up weird ways. hmm You know? Just think about, like... Like, a sports team, right? That has a rival... The games between those rival teams are always bigger than just, like, a game between, like, a friendly team, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. That's the weird thing about humanity is, like, we sort of, I feel like we sort of like the bad shit. Yeah. Yeah. We do. You I know? think, we, yeah. I really... It's like, pain validates us, you know? Yeah. I feel that way, Truly. <laughs> truly I, I truly do it's it's difficult for me to acknowledge within myself that I love the enemies that I have 
without judging myself for being, I don't know, it's just a tricky thing. Because it's true, I feel like in a lot of ways, my journey with making music and expressing myself has involved a lot of enemies, and it does validate me because there's been times where I've like done stand up and like gone and played music where I just get like a reaction from people that's so intensely negative that it must be from a place that validates me. Because what? Interesting. You know, like if I was just like a mediocre musician, then people would just not pay attention or care at all. <laughs> this is having more with comedy than music, but. <laughs> I mean, like, the, I've done stand-up a little bit, and the thing that I possibly scares me away from it is, like, if I make a horrible joke and no one laughs, I find that fucking hilarious. Yes, dude, exactly. But everyone else is like, what the fuck is this psycho doing? And I'm like, y'all yeah. are here to laugh. And I'm failing my ass off. You don't find that, like, the thing that's so weird is, like, I find failure hilarious. Yeah, same. But, like, these people are sitting there watching me fail, and they, like, ha they're, like, this isn't fun. Like, this, it's not, and it, yeah. it's just weird because it's, like, oh, I'm a failure because I failed to make you laugh? That's why I'm a failure. That's why you're mean to me. <laughs> like that, like, and it's just like it's so antithetical to like any idea. It's like I'm a failure if like I don't have a good job, or, you know, like I don't have like all of this shit. I'm not like a, a fa the idea of like he, like these people sitting down and just being like, yeah, man, you failed, and it's just like, yeah, no shit. I'm here doing stand up for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like, like how is that even on like, the right? Spectrum? And it's it's so weird because like I love comedians, but I sort of feel like comedians, like most comedians, are like failures. Oh yeah. Like, and that's why they went to comedy because it's like <laughs> I could, and like a lot of them are just like, yeah, I couldn't do fucking shit. Like I couldn't do anything, so I had to do comedy. Yeah, yeah. and it's like. Which, is that a failure or is that just a genius idea to have a good life? It can be both. I mean, right? I mean, the dude, like, it, it's, it's awesome and I'm super envious and jealous of all comedians. But at the same oh, yeah? time, like, I don't know if I could live my life like that and be a serious person. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, that sounds stupid, but just like in the <laughs> sense of like, would you knowing that I make money from making jokes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just I would just feel like my life's a joke, you know. <laughs> yeah. But like I, the thing I, I'm not trying to diss comedians. Like I think comedians like you. Best. Yeah. I love comedians. Yeah, I do too. But I think what's great about them is that they're they are like, this is a joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, well, yeah, right? that's, I mean, I mean, I don't know. That's comedy, right? Right, yeah. This is a joke. Well, right? that's interesting. There are a couple things I have questions about. Would you consider yourself a serious person? That's the We've question. laughed a lot. I mean, oh, f I gotta really learn which ones are which. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I, that's, the thing, I I would consider myself a serious person when it comes to serious matters. Um, like what's the most serious? I don't know. Like murder is pretty serious. Like I don't think you should kill people. I don't think you should intentionally harm people. Should you joke people. about killing people? I think it's all right to joke about killing people. Yeah. I think like the thing about <laughs> jokes... <laughs> I don't know if I do, actually, after trying to say a killing uh, someone's joke. Well, I mean, like, it, it, one, it depends on the audience, right? Yeah. Two, I think, like, the whole point of jokes is to make it feel like, okay, 
Like, doing yeah. something bad, that's okay. And I'm not saying murder is okay, but I'm saying that, like, if you murdered someone, like, you can still be a good person. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. your your li- life's not over, you didn't, like, like you fucked up bad, yeah. and things need to change, yeah. but, you know, there's redemption and there's mercy. Mm-hmm. At least Christians supposedly say so. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that, I think, I don't know, I think mercy is a good thing. I do too. I think that alongside with this, like the homeless issue, when I first moved yeah. here, like this lady was like, you're in a, f-, I was like, uh, unloading my car with all my stuff. Cause I was moving in. Okay. It's a normal story. Uh, <laughs> and this lady was like, you're going to just leave your door open. What about the, there's homeless people here. And I just feel like, like, uh, homeless people, first of all, no matter what your status or how much money it is, your life is ruined by homeless people. This lady was obviously very rich. Oh, her life is ruined by homeless people? Well, she's like walking around the streets being afraid of homeless people. Yeah. And the only reason that happens is because we don't have enough compassion to take care of people who are unwell. Yeah. Although it's, it is complex. But, like, I'd almost argue it's not even, like, compassion. It's just, like, a yeah. bit, it's just, like, habit. It's just, like, people, like, get stuck in their world. Yeah. Because it's, like, you don't even really need that much compassion. That's the weird thing that I've sort of noticed. Like, you don't need, like, a little bit of compassion is great to, like, kickstart it. But, like, to help someone out, you don't really need that much compassion. You know? Oh, yeah, seriously. You can, like, easily just, like, be like, you know, oh, you need that here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm simplifying hope, helping homeless people to Yeah, but also, also, it's like, that's just, that goes so far for someone who doesn't have yeah. food or water or some yeah something, you know, just like, yeah, yeah it's very, very simple. As well as being complex at the same time. Yeah. It's life, man. Yeah. It's life. Yeah. It's life. Yeah. If you're a murderer out there... It's all right. There's hope for you. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you enjoy it, then you're f***ed. Mm-hmm. Kill yourself. You're not actually fucked. If you love, if you love killing people right. so much, well, kill yourself. It's all, don't kill yourself. <laughs> it's all right. Just think about, like, hey, what is it that you love about killing people? Is it cutting them open? Great. You can be a butcher. I'm going to get kicked out. You'll, you'll, <laughs> help out, you'll help out society. You'll become a world-renowned butcher. Yeah. It'll be great. People will pay you thousands and thousands of dollars until you become one of those billionaires who, you know, can pay people to cut them open because they have sick and twisted minds from making so much money. Yeah, or just, you know, become a doctor. Dude, 2,000 children, like, disip- I think it's a year, disappear in D.C., in Washington, D.C. It might be Where a month White or a day is? or a year. I don't Where know. Are the governments supposed to be coming from? These kids are getting... I don't know. Damn, dude. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. That, yeah, it's it's weird stuff. Yeah, what, the reality? Yeah. (laughs) I'll say. (laughs) Yeah. For real. Honestly. Yeah. But homelessness, yeah. Oh, yeah. Homelessness. Yeah. I've been very interested in it because it would destroy me, it would destroy my mental health when I was younger, like, walking around seeing homeless people because I was so empathetic and I couldn't, like, handle it. Yeah, I mean, I was... Empathetic? I don't know if I would say empathetic, but I was always just like, what's up with this? Like, why? Like, why? Like, it's not, like, because everyone's like, oh, we don't have enough, but it's like, eh. Yeah. That's not really the case. Yeah. Um, and it always, yeah, it was just like, it was just weird, you know? Yeah. But. Yeah. I think, yeah, if, if the systems in place aren't going to help, then you got to yeah. help individually. 
and like I mean I don't it's so weird because I understand different perspectives like I I think some people you know they come from I mean I think the problem is sometimes or one problem is sometimes people don't hear imagine other people's lives or just mm-hmm. I would say that we're like this whole thing of the normal life has come up within the past like 50 to 100 years I don't know yeah or oh, like yeah. there's norm there's this normal life and I think too often people are like oh that would never happen and then they get into this perspective of, oh, that would never happen. It doesn't really exist. And so the likelihood of them believing that the homeless person is that, that yeah. would never happen, yeah. sort of disappears. And it instead becomes, they're lazy, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just like, you know. Yeah. I don't think that's really the case. Yes, because I feel like that way of thinking is dependent on some level of feeling like there's separation between things. Right. Which there's not. There's yeah. one there's one level of separation between things. Yeah. Because things are different than other things. Yeah. But we're all just on a planet that's like uh, in a closed loop. Yeah. And it's like everyone's trying everyone's like almost at the same time trying to like act normal. And like live the normal life. Yeah. That it's like typically you're not going to see the weird stuff because no one's putting that out there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like no one is, you know, you don't say, hey, how's your day? And someone's like, wah, 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 you know? Yeah. They're like, great. Yeah. And then they, they have dead eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which is honestly fine and cool because it does help things to be functional and yes. logical, but then also yeah. there's no well, you just emotional go health. Yeah, I mean, there's emotional health. It, it, it's different, right? Because some people are fine. Yes, and that's something some that... Some people aren't. Right. That is very true. I'm realizing more and more that... I've stressed so much about assuming that people are having mm. a similar life experience to me. Yeah. You're getting trapped in the same trap that other people get trapped in. We're all yeah. trapped in trap. <laughs> We're in the trap. <laughs> the matrix. <laughs> the trap. Yeah. Damn. Oh, well. It's true. It's either like on the end of being overly connected to other things or overly disconnected. Yeah. We gotta find that balance in every moment. It's true. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was trying to hit earlier. Yeah. Let's make a song. Wait, also, so you talked about like radical transparency or something with me about yeah. money over oh. email? Yeah, I was just gonna tell you that I got this money. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Because that's being transparent. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't going to be transparent, I wouldn't. That's funny. <laughs> and I would have just been like, how the fuck did you move this And you would have just been like, magic. Yeah, which is technically accurate. That's true, yeah. Yeah. The government, sponsor of magic. Hey. <laughs> wow, thanks, government. Damn, the government's cool. Oh, my God. What? Wow. Dude, did you hear that uh, Caitlyn Jenner is running for Who? governor? Really? Yeah. Of what? Of California. Do they live in California, those guys? I believe so. Oh, yeah, they broke up with Kanye West. They did? All of them? I didn't know. Was he dating all of them? I know he was married to Kim, mm-hmm. right? Kim mm-hmm. Kardashian. This is finally we're talking about this. I gotta say, I've been. Yeah. It's been so. This is what we meant to talk about the whole time. Yeah, we're getting to the real stuff of the podcast. Yeah. Kim because and Kanye broke up. Ka- well, who's this girl? Kylie is running for governor. Caitlyn. Oh, Caitlyn. 
I don't know if I know what she Caitlin looks like. Caitlyn is the she woman ha- who used to be a man. Oh. Well, at least she'll or know how to do a man's a job. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm backing out. No, no, out. no, I'm honestly. Out. No, I'm let's not, stick with me. I'm not trying to get beat up. <laughs> no, look. I'm not trying to get beat up by anyone. I'm, I'm correct. I'm a correct person. Right, but what I'm saying is that this individual... I don't make jokes. This individual has experienced both the full spectrum of embodying the masculine and feminine energies, and therefore they're probably very well-equipped to handle large portions of people. Maybe. Oh, wait. Or maybe not. Yeah. I love this keyboard. Yeah, my, I'm not having as much fun with my sounds. Yeah, are you... Okay, it's time... It's time for a little bit of uh, interlude break section where I just uh, check in with my guest every uh, week that I do the show and just we'll ask a couple of um, questions just so that we can send them back to the the booking agent and the people doing the analytics just to see what your experience has been like on the show so far as the guest and uh i just just uh, just one question mainly are you having fun <laughs> no no i'm not <sighs> i'm not having f- i'm not having fun at all hmm. i'm not having fun 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 fun, fun, fun. <laughs> This is really not fun, y'all. Oh, you got a neighbor. She's gonna complain about the loud noise we're making. <laughs> How much is rent here? She's gonna complain. Like four grand? About the loud noise. <laughs> um. <laughs> you recorded me? Yeah, you I asked a, me I made a looper. Oh, that's... Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is another question that we'd ask is it are you okay are you um <laughs> is it okay um, that i'm recording this is it, it is okay? okay but i want to say to google to apple to facebook instagram twitter all y'all guys stop using my data to create a profile of me that you sell to advertising agencies. I don't like it, and I don't want you to do it to me anymore. Stop, please. (laughs) you. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) I do have a neighbor, yes. I live in a apartment complex. Hell, yeah. So in the name of transparency, how much does your rent cost? Oh, that's right, $14.50. Oh, that's actually... Really? That's good, right? Yeah. This is a block from the beach. I mean, it's... I don't live it's, in... It's like fucked up that I think that's good, but it is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's Do you some, have a kitchen? Yeah, I got a kitchen and a bathroom, yeah. which is like... You need those? I do need those. I need those. Bathroom. And it's okay for me to admit that. It yeah. doesn't mean that I'm white privilege. Yeah. Do you have a toilet, or is it just a hole? It's just a hole. That's actually good... For your I bowels. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It prevents kidney stones, right? Or whatever. Because you, you're supposed to squat when you poop. Yeah. You're not supposed to sit while you poop. Yeah. The reason the hole got there, actually, because I was squatting on the toilet. And oh. the toilet broke. It happens. Yeah. Toilets break. Toilets break. Now I got a hole. My posture and my It's better. Bowels. Better for posture. Mm-hmm. Better for everything. Smooth movement, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, well, do you want to say anything else, or should we call someone um, to end the episode? Oh, are we end? Is the episode over? You don't have any more questions for me? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, I do, actually. What's, tell me about this music, and what's, what is it? 
this music I'm playing right now? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I wish I had a, a keyboard too. Wait, right. let's make a. We can make a loop. Just play this yeah. on repeat now. Yeah. Now, now I'll be inspired to come up with some questions. No, seriously, I want to know about the band you're in. Oh yeah, I'm and in a band. Yeah. It's called Ash Paradigm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice name. Yeah. Do you know it, bud? Paradigm. You said that earlier when we were talking about money, and yeah. it's like a couple of dimes. A paradigm is a word that I don't know the definition to. Oh yeah. That's untrue on a certain level very cool i this can is, create a this definition this is what the podcast all about i can create a definition for you but i'm not sure it would be the actual definition that you would find in a dictionary that's right yeah this is a fun game i'd like it to is. hear your definition of a paradigm and then i'm going to ask you another thing a paradigm is a system of functions typically referring to political, psychological, or cultural systems. Wow, that honestly might be word for word verbatim what's in the dictionary. Maybe. It's very good. I don't think. I have that with a lot of words where it's just like stuff that I've learned the meaning of like ethereally, but not I feel tangibly. That. That's the best way, in my opinion. Yes. It's more humane. Yes. You know? Yes. Especially with music as well. Exactly. Yeah. 100% with music. I hate I hate learning music uh, like with a teacher. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It's much more fun when you're like just playing. Yeah. It's like, even called playing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like I don't I don't want to I mean I want to learn but I don't I don't want to sit there and have you lecture me i want you to like bang out some groovy tunes and then i'll be like yeah boom boom yeah that's what it's all about exactly and so i was very much conditioned to feel like it was a horrible crime for me to do that yeah and many people problematic yeah in many ways just feel ashamed for their natural functions Right. As a human. Yeah. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh you're adding to the loop even more. Oh man. Let's see how this sounds. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh you're adding I don't to like the it. Loop. I don't like that. <laughs> <sighs> oh okay. Any more questions? Um, did you did you want to know more about the band? I do want to know more about the band, but it doesn't necessarily have to be on the podcast. What do you think? It's, it's your podcast. You just you get to decide. <sighs> All right, hold on. You're let the me, master here. Let me let me work something out personally for a second. Oh. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for coming over. And doing Absolutely. This. Yeah, it's it a lot a of pleasure. Fun. Yeah, it was. It what a was. Hold on. Was it a pleasure? <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm a fan of critical thinking. I'm not going to give an answer. I'm going to, you all have to decide for yourselves. I'm sorry I'm not here to give you the answers. I'm only here to inspire you to search for them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if people do feel inspired by your answers, where can they get more of that sweet juice? Uh, Chimerical is the name of my podcast. You can find it on Apple, Spotify, and a couple of the other places you look for podcasts. Mm, like the Google Play Store? Maybe. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Some of the fringe ones I don't think I'm on. What is your podcast hosting provider? Okay, I'm going to bleep that out for the audience later, but I'm interested personally. All right, thanks so much. Bye. I love you. <laughs> oh, dude. Wait, what? <laughs> oh.